Mitchell, County Councillor for Braintree Eastern. Until 2020, I was also a helicopter pilot by profession, firstly as a naval officer and then 23 years flying for the police, mostly over London and East Anglia. Since 1999, I've been able to combine flying duties with representing residents on parish, district or county councils. I feel privileged to have watched captains playing in the wake, waves and wake of Her Majesty's warships, watching us, watching them. Uh, memory of the spectacular contrast between nature and humans, and I've no doubt that the impact of ever increasing human population over the last 200 years, particularly, has dangerously affected the balance of nature and climate. And this generation are, I believe, the last that can make a real difference a real positive change to the imbalance we see around us. And as Bill Gates said just on the BBC News this morning, it's not going to be easy. And I'm very much up for the challenge. I built a solar thermal panel to heat water as part of my physics A-level, but that now seems like ancient history. Um, harnessing our own power was always a desire and the solar panel results we get in this sunniest part of the country have consistently been 20% better than the original calculations. And when we fitted them, they just become part of the roof. They quietly make clean power, reduce our carbon footprint, and the only thing we need to do is read the generation meter once in a while and smile. As we look forward to an electric car in due course, our next consideration is a battery storage system. And we've already fitted as many solar panels as we've got roof space. And as of this morning, I, having signed up and registered myself, I'm looking for a battery potentially. As Deputy Cabinet Member for Environment from 2007 to 2017 at Braintree District Council, I was a passionate promoter for fitting solar panels on Causeway House, the Braintree building in 2012, and this paved the way for bigger schemes on other council-owned buildings. And the income from these since has saved 1% of council tax for taxpayers every year. Once fitted, they, they're making power immediately reducing household electricity bills and helping to reduce our individual carbon footprints. I checked my meter at nine o'clock this morning and it's producing power today. It's a really boring, dull, grey day, but they're already producing power. So houses with smart meters should see an immediate difference, especially, and certainly on bright or sunny days, or even on days like today. The panels don't need direct sunlight to start working and a bright day will, just produce, will still produce power. The added bonus of the smart energy guarantee means that you get or could get paid as well for surplus energy that you export to the grid. And renewable systems also improve the value of a lot of properties. So it's a bulk buying scheme so, for instance, if, let's say, 4,000 property owners in Essex show an interest, previously vetted solar panel and battery installation companies will be asked to bid at the end of the registration period, which finishes on the 23rd of March. And they will bid their most competitive quote for all those Essex residents and businesses. And the more that sign up, the more that register, the better the bulk buying power and the better the offer that can be made. The winning company obviously gets a whole load of new leads, but it's all in one county, so it's going to be cheaper for them to install these. And Essex is in a unique position in the country. The potential to become self-sufficient in renewable energy from wind and solar is there. And solar together will enable many households and businesses to make an individually affordable contribution towards climate change as well as the goal of becoming a, a renewable powered county. Once 
once made, an individual offer can be tailored by the applicant to their budget or roof sides, and most importantly, there's no obligation to buy. But if anybody's thinking about it and they don't really know a great deal about solar panels, it takes a lot of hard, tire, hard work and time to understand and research the market. And obviously, the less you know, the longer it takes. The good thing about Solar Together is this work's being done already. So only appropriate MCS registered companies will be allowed to bid. And the simple, it boils down to the simple questions of how many could I fit or how much will it cost and what will I get out of it? They're easily answered. In fact, they're on the website there already. Battery storage system could also be considered. So if you're considering an electric vehicle, there's also an, ad, an option to add a, a charging point. And I really think that anyone thinking about registering, just Google Solar Together Essex. There'll be a link on here, I'm sure, afterwards. And it's a really informative, easy to follow process. Lots of frequently asked questions. And I hope that just helps to provide a personal insight of living with solar panels.